what is something you think quite a lot about, but rarely get a chance to discuss? You being, you know, currently dead probably limits your discussions quite a bit. Um, but what comes to mind is something you think a lot about, but rarely get or rarely got a chance to discuss. Oh, I like this question very much. Near the end of my life, I had the concept that I wish I had had more time to develop. That concept is a concept of the voice in your head. Who is that speaking to you, telling you to do or to not do something? Is it your conscience, an internal dialogue formed by personal selection of moral viewpoints? Is it your parental influence? Is it the voice of the collective conscious reinforced by myths? My later thinking is that it is none of these things. It is a product of the collective unconscious, yes, in a way. But that is like saying a tree looks a certain way because it's a product of the universe. Yes, in a very grand sense, but not very informative for the tree or the one helping the tree. More specifically, why does the this tree look the way it does compared to this tree next to it. Is that voice in our heads, even for someone that is integrated as a shadow, is that voice the collective unconscious itself, or your parents, or your pastor, or a teacher, or a myth that is verbalized? I've come to believe it is none of these things, and that it is you from the future. And the further you go into the future, the further you disconnect from the concept of time and listen to that voice, three things happen. First, the more integrated you become. Second, the more useful you become. And third, the more timeless your impact can become. Continue to feed volume to that voice, your future self telling you what you ought to do, and the closer that voice gets to the ultimate timeless voice, God. The Latin root for religion is to reunite or to bind. The Sanskrit root for yoga is union. And the union with God comes from listening to that voice we have each been given. Separation from the timeless, separation from that voice causes the disintegration of both selves. So, if you were my patient today, I would tell you to listen to that voice. Listen to your future self. It knows what it is talking about. Feed volume to that voice for 10 straight years and see where it takes you. Feed volume to that voice for one month and see where that takes you. Well, I think I've said the word wow too many times in this episode.